Hello, welcome to Mystic Mondays. This is Anna Raimondi coming to you from Connecticut. And today I would love to speak to you about power animals. So to begin, power animals are often referred to as spirit animals or totem animals are concepts that are primarily rooted in indigenous cultures around the world. So not just in the United States with the Native Americans, um, but all over the world. The notion is of power animals is deeply ingrained in the belief system of many tribes that have um, traditions with totem animals, where certain animals represent certain attributes and characteristic or give us certain lessons. Similarly, in shamanic practices around the world, power animals are revered as guides or protectors, as guides. They are those that protect us and lead us, very similar to spirit guides that we spoke about in the last episode. They hold a similar place. They um, very often their characteristics, the personalities associated with these animals coincide with our personalities and who we are. And it's called animal medicine. So for instance, my major power animal is a wolf. And so I connect to wolf medicine. They also have symbolic meanings of strength or courage, or sometimes even weakness, things we need to um, get over, um, you know, of, of freedom, independence, you know, so a power animal, you know, may be part of your life journey and seeking independence. They often come through in dreams, you know, where you're dreaming of something and there's an animal in it and it's, it's continued. And then you, um, you know, that is your power animal. Sometimes, um, animals come to us to bring us messages. So they may not be our power animals, but they may be a message for us. For instance, I was sitting in my kitchen and a fox walks by my deck as I'm sitting there. It was maybe, it was outside, but maybe it was 20 feet from me. To me, that would be a message that coming to me. I've never seen a fox walk across my deck, certainly not as, um, so close to me. They help us with our spiritual growth by giving us an understanding also of nature, of our place in nature as we connect with them. It's important um, that you understand that um, a lot of this is symbolic. Very often, um, if you're with um, a shaman, you may go on a shamanic journey, um, go on a shamanic journey and the journey will help you connect to your power animal and see your power animal and introduce you to your power animal. Often I will do shamanic journeying classes and help people connect that way. But for the here and now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to walk you through a meditation. But before I do that, I want to recommend a book, which will come to you opposite. I know that, but it's Animal Spirit Guides, and it's written by Stephen Farmer. Um, it's a wonderful book because in the book, it'll it talks about if an animal shows up, what does it mean? When to call on certain animals and animals as your power animal. So that's a book, if you're interested, that I recommend over the other books that are out there, which are very good, but this one is just easier to follow. Okay, so please get in a comfortable position and close your eyes. And just breathe and feel that wonderful clear breath moving in and out. Wonderful, beautiful breath and breathe out all that doesn't serve you at this moment. And just breathe in and out, feeling your body relax, allowing yourself to empty yourself of all. 
that doesn't serve you as you connect to all in nature and divinity. And imagine a, br a brilliant white light above your head moving into your crown and through your body into your feet and ground you to the floor. And recognize that you are protected on this journey and it is for your highest good. Imagine yourself standing at the entrance of a beautiful, serene forest. The sun is just about to set and it's just so much peace. And you see the golden hues of the sun's rays over the trees and on the path ahead. And you feel so peaceful. Start walking down the path. Feel the warm, soft earth beneath your feet. Hear the birds chirping, getting music around you as the tree, as the leaves rustle. And you hear in the distance a flowing stream. And you're so peaceful. As you walk, you soon come upon a calm, reflected river with a very sturdy bridge. As I count to five, you will walk over this bridge, leaving all your worldly concerns behind you. And you step on the bridge at one and two, you continue three, you're in the middle of the bridge, four, coming down the other side, five, you're at the end of the bridge and you step out into a beautiful meadow and you feel good and you feel right. And there's wildflowers dotting the meadow here and there and everywhere. And it smells so good. And you relish in this place because you know this is the place will you, where you will meet your power animal. And you see a stone circle and you walk into the center of the stone circle and you call out silently from your heart as you invite your power animal to join you. And you say, I am here to connect, to learn, to seek guidance. Please show yourself to me. And you stand silently waiting patiently Soon an animal emerges from the forest and approaches you. Whatever animal this is, it is good, it is right, it is a creation of God. As this animal comes closer, you recognize the love that comes from this animal to you. Notice how you feel in its presence. Don't force the animal to appear. Let it come to you and don't judge what it is. Reach your power animal and sit down together in the meadow and communicate with your power animal telepathically. You may ask questions or seek guidance or simply enjoy the company. Your power animal might offer you insights or maybe a gift. 
to hold in your heart. So sit there right now, together in communion. When you are done communicating with your power animal, express your gratitude for its guidance and presence and being a helper in your life's journey. Thank you for offering you wisdom. You stand up. And you know that this power animal is always with you, will always be there helping you. And the power animal begins to walk away, letting you know that whenever you want to communicate, you can come back to this meadow. And you begin walking back the way you came and you come to the bridge, and as I count from one to five, you will walk over the bridge. One, you step on the bridge. Two, you continue. Three, you're in the middle of the bridge. And four, you're almost done. Five, you're at the end of the bridge, and you step back from where you came. As you emerge into the forest, just be aware of the space around you. And as I count to three, you will come back to where you are when you began this journey. One, wiggle your fingers. Two, wiggle your toes. And slowly open your eyes. Take a moment to breathe deeply and ground yourself. After every meditation with power animals or spirit guides, you may want to keep a journal and, draw, and jot down. In this case, what does your animal look like? What messages or insights did it share? These are things that you may want to reflect on in the coming days. And sometimes it's not apparent immediately how the message pertains to us. Remember, you can always go back to this meditation to connect with your power animal or seek guidance. God bless you on all your journeys. I look forward to seeing you in my next episode of Mystical Mondays.